Welcome back, everybody, to Hashtag Bet That. I am your host, Mike Knox. And indeed, I spell my name with three X's because I am hardcore. People, listen, for the last seven years, I have been the social media's number one handicapper to you and your friends around the world. People, that's right. I have a winning percentage over 70 Five percent winners. I have rules that must be followed. Number one rule in handicapping: double-digit leads and point spreads in the NFL are disrespectful. Number two: West Coast teams coming east typically lose unless you are the Oakland Raiders. And also, people remember the hashtag bet that that is the show you're tuned in, you're listening to live right here on Fox Sports Radio, ninety-six point nine FM iTunes account as well as the YouTube channel. People, listen, my beautiful face, well, at least my wife thinks my face is beautiful. You know what I mean? My, my kids probably think my face is beautiful also. But see, that's only a face they say a mother could love, but frankly, I think I have the face everyone could love. People, again, make sure you follow us on the Twitter, wherever social media is sold at 1340 AM Fox Sports. Make sure you follow me, yours truly, Mike Knox. I am loud. I speak loud. And frankly, folks, if you're not making her loud, that's on you at Mike Knox. You already know how it's spelled with three X's. Make sure you follow the show that I host, The Soul in Sports, S-O-U-L, capital letter N, Sports. People, again, you're here to do one thing and one thing only. And my job is to do one thing and one thing only. That's show you the money. So that's what I plan to do. Now, guys, listen, I'm not afraid to admit this. Matter of fact, I admitted it last week. I said, and I quote, the first week of the NFL season is the hardest week to handicap. I take it a step further for one Jay Chris on the Solar Sports and said, Mike, probably the first three weeks of the NFL are the hardest weeks to handicap. But it's okay because I don't take L's. I make W's, and I still came out ahead with an 8-7 and seven record thanks to, okay, the Los Angeles Chargers closing that gap two weeks between the Denver Broncos on the second half of the Monday night game. So thank you, Los Angeles Chargers, who I picked to win that game, and you did. Also, I picked what no one else picked all week long, and that was the defending champions not beating the Kansas City Chiefs. Andy Reid, Fat Andy, as I like to refer to him, he knew what he could do that game, and even he was shocked what he did because even he knew he couldn't do what he thought he could do. But that's okay. Again, 7-8 and eight last week. One in one of my locks of the week because I gave you the first ever double locks of the week. And on one with my upset of the week, which I did pick that game, the Giants playing that game before the Ezekiel Elliott uh, suspension was appealed and so forth and so forth. So that's okay. I will stick with that. I'm a man. I will take my losses as they come. And I will take that loss that I picked that game before all that stuff happened with Ezekiel appealing his suspension that he played. So, this week, i got something for you that's even specialer. Is specialer actually even a word? I mean, can specialer even be a word? I mean, it's my show. You don't like it. Listen, anyway, but, you know, when you make up a word, it's your word, right? So, why can't your word? Anyway, moving on. Again, people, make sure you follow us on Twitter. The hashtag is hashtag bet that. But NFL picks and games this week are before you. Before we go there, I want to go ahead and break this down to you because our own Corey uh, Cody Stewart, that's at Undercore underscore, sorry, at underscore Cody Stewart has the Fox Sports Radio power rankings for week two, okay? Number one is the Atlanta Falcons, followed by the Oakland Raiders, followed by the Packers of Green Bay, the Kansas City Chiefs, the New England Patriots, the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Dallas Cowboys, the Seattle Seahawks. How? I don't I mean, I get they play Green Bay, but they, they look pretty bad. Uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who didn't even play last week, but moved up a slot from 10 to 9 in his power rankings. You got the Broncos of Denver. You got the Lions of Detroit, Minnesota Vikings, and the Eagles of Philadelphia, as well as the New York Giants falling seven slots from seven to 14 and running out to top 15, falling two slots to Tennessee Titans. The biggest moves and losers this week in his power rankings were the Kansas City Royals, 
I mean, Kansas City Royals. Whoa, baseball. Listen, it's not time yet. I know that the Cleveland Indians have just won 21 straight games, 20 straight wins, but sorry. And then we also have the Panthers of Carolina going up five slots. So Kansas City and Carolina moves up five slots and, and, his, and are the big movers this week in the power rankings, followed by the Giants being the big losers, moving, losing seven spots. Again, follow his power rankings at undercore underscore Cody Stewart on the Twitter. Now, this week, we got the Thursday night game, which frankly, it's, it should be a pick em game. This game has seven points on the board as the Cincinnati Bungles. I, I got to call them the Bungles, okay? Because last week, I thought they could do it. I didn't know Flacco, who I believe is an uh, a elite quarterback, would throw nine passes and win the damn game. Come on, Cincinnati. You got shut out. No Joe Mixon. Andy Dalton looks like I don't know. Saying he's a, a shell of himself is not even a word. I don't know what that was. The Cincinnati Bungles did not show up. The Houston Texans opened up at home against the factory of sadness team number two, the Jacksonville Jaguars, and they got smoked as well. Houston, Tennessee, you're starting a rookie quarterback in a short week. You got five players on the injury reserve that are hurt and not going to play in this game. Three of your tight ends who all have concussions. Houston, we have a problem, but seven points? Is Cincinnati seven points better than Houston? You're damn right they are. Give me the Cincinnati Bungles to cover the seven points over Tennessee. I mean, over Houston. Sorry about that. I look towards my next game. Then we have the Tennessee Titans on the road, favored by three points over that factory of sadness, the Jacksonville Jaguars, who had an impressive showing. Listen, guys, I like Tennessee. I have Tennessee being one of my wild card teams in the AFC this year. Um, I, I don't have Jacksonville being there. This is another divisional game. Okay, give me Tennessee on the road to make up for the loss they had to Oakland, which was not, I mean, I had it as my lock of the, my, one of my upsets of the week. Actually, my lock upsets of the week. But a lot of people say, well, Oakland's not an underdog, but they were the West Coast team coming east. They were also the road team, and they handled their business. Marcus Mariota had a great showing coming back from the broken foot. I like what Tennessee has. The rookie showed up. Give me Tennessee over Jacksonville. Jacksonville needs to show and prove a lot more than what they did last week against Houston. Although, the rookie Fournette with over 100 yards rushing in that game. Very, very impressive. Can they make the steps necessary to move forward? But give me the Tennessee Titans to win that game. Then we have another divisional matchup. Cleveland played exceptional football last week against the Pittsburgh Steelers. The original factory of sadness, the Cleveland Browns, are now underdogs on the road in another divisional matchup. Against the Baltimore Ravens, Joey Flacco and the boys. That defense is elite. Just like Joey Flacco is elite. Eight points elite? I want to say yes, but Cleveland shocked me. And I mean shocked me last week by playing a close game with the Pittsburgh Steelers. But again, it's opening week. Eight points is not the ten points. It's, I, I want to say Baltimore, so I will say Baltimore covers the eight points. Hashtag bet that. Then we got the 1 o'clock game on the East Coast in New Orleans. Both teams 0-1. We're going to have an angry, and I mean an angry Madden cover boy. That's right, Broadway Brady going to New Orleans indoors to play. Drew, I'm not done yet, Breeze, and the New Orleans Saints. That team was an all disarray as the Minnesota Vikings put a whooping on them. But Kansas City Chiefs put a whooping on New England. You call it, I'm going to call it, it's seven points against New Orleans. I'm going to take the New England Patriots because their defense is that much better than New Orleans defense. Give me the Patriots to cover the seven points. Then we got Arizona for about eight points over the Indianapolis Colts who... Frankly, the third team on the list of the factory of sadness is, is, is truly that team at all. And that is the Indianapolis Colts. Scott Tozing sucks. Okay. They have no quarterback. You got Brissett coming in who's been there, I don't know what, all of seven days at this point as I'm making this video, this audio. I mean, seven days and he might be a starting quarterback. I mean, come on. Arizona loses David Johnson. They bring back in Chris Johnson. It's totally the Johnson and Johnson connection. But what lotion will slither them up good enough to win this game? I don't know. This is a game. I'm going to say it right now. I'm going to scream it through the audio. Do not touch this game. Eight points. 
Do not touch this game. I repeat, do not touch this game. But if you must, give me Arizona to cover the eight points. Then we got Kansas City favored by five points over the Philadelphia Eagles on the uh, at Kansas City. My Eagles played inspiring football last week. We lose the Philadelphia Eagles. That is lose Darby, Pennsylvania. I re- that's what I call him, Ronald Darby. Out for a couple of weeks. Kansas City is on fire after beating the brakes off of the Madden cover boy, New England Patriots, Tom Brady, and those boys. Kansas City at home. Now, going into the season, doing our preseason picks, I actually thought I would go with the Philadelphia Eagles. But there's things I saw in the offense. There's things I saw in the defense secondary that bothers me, especially the way that I saw Kansas City play. Uh, New England, but I do know styles make matchups, and in this game, I gotta go with what I wanna go with. My heart says Philadelphia, but my money and my pocket says, get me Andy Reid to beat his old team in Philadelphia. Get me Kansas City and the five points. Then we got Pittsburgh at home, favored by seven over Minnesota. Listen right here, people. Upset of the week. I repeat, upset of the week. Lock it up. No, you lock it up. No, you lock it up. Lock it up. Give me the Minnesota Vikings to cover the seven against Pittsburgh. Uh, it's point blank and simple. Minnesota is here to stay. I said last year on the Solon Sports, I said last year along with a Twitter account, when Philadelphia traded Sam Badford, who's not bad at all, to the Minnesota Vikings, that he was a better quarterback for that team, and he showed it on Monday Night Football. I know you get your panties in a bunch that they play New Orleans stinking defense, but I still believe in the defense of Minnesota over the defense of Pittsburgh, and the offense is very balanced. Give me Minnesota to cover over Pittsburgh. Then we got Tampa Bay in their opening game, coming home after everything has happened here in Florida. That's why there's no audio. We still have no power. I'm doing this via my cell phone. Give me Tampa Bay over Chicago and the seven points to open up the season? Nah, I don't think so. The Bears will lose this game, but they will cover the seven. Give me Chicago to cover the seven. Then we got the Los Angeles Chargers at home playing the other team that didn't play last week. The Miami Dolphins coming. See, this is not ever spoken about. I don't understand that. Why is it that if a West Coast team goes East Coast, the record is so bad? Well, isn't it, shouldn't it be the same thing for the East Coast team going to the West Coast if the Los Angeles Chargers proved anything on Monday Night Football that they are here to compete? I love, I love, I love that team. I love Melvin Gordon. Get me some breakfast. I love the quarterback play. I love the defense. That secondary is fast and strong. Give me the Los Angeles Chargers to beat and cover the Miami Dolphins in the five points. Then we got Oakland at home against the New York football Jets. And what did I just tell you with the number one rule and handicapping? Double digit point spreads and the NFL are disrespectful. Now, if this was 10, I'm with it. It is 14 points. So, to choose or not to choose? That is the question. Hashtag do not touch. Hashtag do not touch. But guess what, guys? I'm going to touch it. The New York Jets are the worst team in the NFL, and the Oakland Raiders are my team to beat in the West. Give me Oakland to cover the 14, but I still wouldn't touch it. It's your money, not mine. But I'm going to show you how to win it. So if you're going to play it, take Oakland. Then we got the Randall Los Angeles. At home against the Washington Redskins. Give me L.A. to win this game. I don't like nothing coming out of Washington. I know they're our host station here. I love the the, the, front, the foundation of the team. I love the the the, the presidents. I love the, the, the I love the inner workings of the Washington Redskins. But the team on the field needs to show up. I believe in the defense. I want to believe in the Magic Man Kirk Cousins. But after the open receivers that were left open against Philadelphia that he could not hit, I don't know. First week jitters? I don't know. I like what the Rams defense is there. Donaldson's back. Give me Rams to cover the three points. They're the home favorite. I'll take the home favorite. Then we got Dallas going on the road to Denver. And Dallas is favored. This is where Vegas wants to put their finger straight up your hoo-hoo and see how smart you are. Well, guess what? I'm going to put your finger up your hoo-hoo 
and see how smart I am. Give me Denver the cover the two points. Dallas can't win this game in the Maha City. They just can't. I just they just can't. I believe in Denver. I believe in that defense. And guess what, y'all? That quarterback is better than y'all think he is. Ain't nothing against Dallas. I like Dallas. I think they're great. I think their defense is slightly overrated. And listen, they put the Giants last week that just frankly did not show up. Give me Denver to cover the two points. Denver got Seattle for about 14 over San Francisco. Another divisional matchup um, with a double-digit lead. You don't do that. Remember, the rule is double-digit leads are disrespectful, but double-digit leads inside the division is even more disrespectful. Seattle for about 14 over San Francisco. Do not touch this game, but since we're going to touch it and we got balls the size of grapefruits, give me Seattle to cover the 14. San Francisco is the second-worst team in football. Then we got the Atlanta Falcons. With the rematch of the NFC Championship game against the Packers of Green Bay back in Atlanta. The factory of sadness no longer, but I will continue to call them 28-3 and three until they prove me otherwise. Atlanta played Chicago pretty tough, but not as good as we thought they were. Green Bay, listen, this is a game that you frankly got to have enough heart to call. This is a game that many of you will not touch. But I'm going to tell you this right here, right now. Right here, right now. Lock it up! Atlanta covers the three points against the Packers of Green Bay. Nothing else needs to be said. Then we got the Giants taking on Detroit in New York on Monday Night Football. Give me Detroit to cover the four points over the New York Football Giants. Whether Odell's there or not, that offensive line in New York is the worst offensive line in football. The Detroit Lions have continued to prove everybody wrong. Matthew Stafford and his $135 million contract is worth it to Detroit. He will be worth it to this game, and they will win this game outright. Give me Detroit to cover the four points against New against the New York football Giants. Here you go. Here you have it. I'd like to hear it one more time. Here it go. Give me Detroit over the Giants. Give me uh, Atlanta over Green Bay. Give me Seattle over San Francisco. Give me Denver over Dallas, which is my upset of the week. Give me the Rams over Washington. Give me Oakland over the Jets. Again, Seattle and Oakland, I don't really want to touch them. If you want to touch them, go right ahead. Those are my winners. Give me Chicago to cover the seven against Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay, but Tampa Bay wins the game outright. My upset of the week again, give me Minnesota over Pittsburgh. Give me Kansas City over Philadelphia, which... I hope Philly wins. I want Philly to win, but that's my heart. But my money says Kansas City. Give me Arizona over Indianapolis. Give me New England over New Orleans. Give me Carolina over Buffalo. Give me Cleveland. No, give me Baltimore over Cleveland. Give me Tennessee over Jacksonville. And give me Cincinnati over Houston. Again, from the top to the bottom because I'm here. Cincinnati, Tennessee, Baltimore, Carolina, New England, Arizona, Kansas City, Minnesota, Chicago, the Los Angeles Chargers. Give me Oakland. Give me the Rams. Give me the Broncos. Give me Seattle. Give me Atlanta. And give me the Detroit Lions. People, there you have it. The Soul and Sports on the show. The pros and icons. Listen to hashtag bet that. I am your number one host to the number one media critic there is in the world, social media, and number one handicapper, which is me, Brandon Lang, ain't got nothing on Mike Knox. Again, guys, last week, seven, I mean, eight and seven, I still have over 75% winners. Follow me on Twitter at Mike Knox with three X's. Follow the station, the Soul and Sports that is on. That's at Soul, S-O-U-L, capital letter N, Sports, and 1340 AM Fox Sports. People, iTunes, Stitcher, wherever podcasts are sold, you can find it just by Googling me, Mike Knox. People, there you have it. Hashtag bet that. And when it comes to betting money, I will show you the money because I am that damn good.